Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. And today, I want to share with you guys another product review. And today, um, this is a product by a company that I reached out to uh, a couple months ago, and they were nice enough to send me one of their speakers. And it's a Bluetooth speaker slash uh, kind of ambiance nightlight. And that one's called the Shava, uh, the Shava Seven. And the company is called Shava. And so I went ahead and did my initial review, and the speaker is pretty cool. Although, you know, for me. Um, I have so many speakers in the house from Google Home, I have a Google Mini in this room, I have two Google Homes throughout the house, I have Alexas, I have Alexa hooked up to um, an in, kind of, not really in ceiling yet, but on, on wall speaker system throughout the whole upstairs. Um, I have surround systems in every room, sound bar downstairs, I mean, you name it, I got audio in this house, Google Chromecast on every TV, every stereo system, uh, Google Chromecast audio, I mean, the list goes on on the amount of speakers that I have. And so, um, you know, I like the speaker. I have it out on my bookshelf. And it's cool because it gives you just a little bit of nightlight. And so if you don't have a lot of Bluetooth speakers in your house, um, it's a great device to be able to add a little bit of ambiance to the room and to have a little bit of audio. And it's battery powered. Um, but when I did the initial review, the, the gentleman, uh, William, over at Shava was uh, very static. He was very, very happy with the review that I gave. And I said, hey, man, you know, you guys got a lot of other products. You know, is there anything else you'd like me to review? And so he says, hey, you know what? Um, and one thing uh, I did mention in that video was, hey, you know what? It's a Bluetooth speaker. It's not. The audio is just pretty basic. It's not exceptional. Uh, it's just a Bluetooth speaker. And so I mentioned that in my video, and he says, hey, we have a new speaker coming out uh, that um, I'd like you to review, if, you're, if you'd be willing to review it. He says it's supposed to have much better audio quality, and, you know, it's a, you know, portable Bluetooth speaker. And I was like, okay, I'll, you know, that sounds good, I'll review it, because, let's face it, everybody and their brother makes Bluetooth speakers. I mean, you can find them all over eBay. I mean, I bought many. I mean, you can get them from well-known brands like JBL. You get off brands like the Imitation Beats by Dre. I have one of those downstairs. And you know what? They all seem to work. And you know, they don't really, a lot of the ones I've had that are in that price point of under 30 bucks, um, I say under $10, you know, because I don't, I haven't really spent a lot of money on Bluetooth speakers. Uh, my girlfriend let me have one of her JBL ones, which actually I'm pretty impressed with. But uh, nonetheless, that's a more expensive speaker. And so some of the other ones I had, like the Imitation Beats, uh, speaker, I just was like, eh, you know, eh, it worked. Just a little audio when I'm out there washing the car or from outside in the, in the backyard, um, you know, doing something, I, I could take that with me. But um, this speaker, I, like I said, all right, man, no problem. Go ahead and send it on over. And I got to tell you, I'm pretty impressed with this speaker. And this is it right here. And this is called the Shava Ultra Power Precision Pride. It's all it says in the box. Uh, it does not say... Anything else as far as the name on this here? I think it's just called the Ultra. Um, again, this is the box. You guys know I never really get involved in the box, but I just want to show you. That's what it comes in. Uh, you have a little bit of information on the, on the back here. And basically on the box, it says you have wireless audio, hence Bluetooth. Um, you have IPX6 water resistance. So this thing does have an element of water resistance. You can take this in the shower. Um, IP6, I'm not really too familiar. Let me see what their rating is on that while I got you here. IPX6 waterproof rating. Let's see what they say here. Uh, so IP6 is not waterproof. Um, and I've seen speakers out there that you can actually throw in a swimming pool. And this website breaks it down here uh, as far as the meaning between IPX0 and all the way through IPX8. IPX8, you can submerge your device in over three feet of water. Um, IPX7 is a full splashdown. Uh, if, if you drop your device in water up to three feet, um, the, your device is still going to work. I'm sorry, IPX8 is over three feet. IPX7, I guess that's due to the pressure is up to three feet of water. And IPX6, it says protects from powerful water jets. So you modify your super soaker with an air compressor and aftermarket to, uh, tip, but you're still safe. So this would be fine if you, if you accidentally hit it with the hose. I'm definitely fine to take it in the shower where you're not gonna have a lot of indirect water on it. Um, it does come with this little C, this little C clip carabiner on here. Um, I actually tried this out the other day and put it in the shower with me while playing some audio. Um, you have some buttons on top here with your power button, your mode button, and your volume. You have this nice rubberized coating around the whole speaker. 
Uh, some nice rubber feet so this thing stays um, pretty stable when you put it down. And I have to tell you, um, there is a real reason why the feet are a little bit sticky. And that's because this thing actually moves. And I'll tell you why in a second. Uh, you know, it's just, it's not a bad speaker. Um, and again, you have a clip so you can clip that, you know, on, on, on your bike or clip it in the shower, whatever you want to clip it to. And uh, again, just rubberized coating. You have a, a black gray on the front and the back. Now, I have to tell you, I was skeptical when I first got this. One, because it's pretty small. And, you know, on the back here, you have an auxiliary in like you do on most speakers. Uh, you have your charging port. And, of course, you have your uh, micro SD card. So if you want to go ahead and uh, put a micro SD card in it and not have it connect to your phone, that's an option for which I always like that option where you can just load your music on there. You don't have to have your phone connecting to it. Change the, uh, change the track right on the device itself, whether you're connected to Bluetooth or you're connected uh, just to the, the, um, the card inside here. But, again, one thing I was really, you know, I was like, okay, Bluetooth speaker. I got to tell you, I was really shocked at the amount of bass this put out. Now, if you go ahead and order this, don't come back at me and be like, oh, man, it's not, doesn't sound like my, my home subwoofer or like the Google Home. It's not going to sound like that. But what they do is they actually put a couple speakers on the front of this device here, and it's listed on their website, but they appear to be about, I'd say, there's no tweeter, just a single, single full-range driver, but you have two of them, and they look about an inch, an inch and a half driver on the front, and in the back you have a large, large in proportion to the device, square passive radiator. And what a passive radiator does, it basically functions just like a port does, where it actually tunes the enclosure um, to a certain frequency. Uh, for like a subwoofer in the car, I always tune to 30 hertz. That's where I like, I like that low rumble um, that you get out of 30 hertz tuned box. Uh, guys who are more into like a lot of the rap music where the bass is a little bit higher, uh, they like, you know, 40 hertz. Um, you get a little more output. I've always stuck around 30 hertz. Now, now, naturally, this isn't tuned to 30 hertz. What a passive radiator does, it basically takes the place of a port and it gives you a lot deeper bass out of a smaller box. So the problem is with a port um, is if you have a box, right, and you have, and we're just, I'm talking car audio here, um, or let's just talk about this device. In order for whatever they've tuned this to, to get that more low end, the port has to be tuned, and the port is tuned by how long it is versus the diameter. So the speaker needs to be tuned to the port and the enclosure. And so what that does, it creates a slug of air inside that tube, and it releases the back audio waves of the subwoofer at a certain frequency, right? And so basically, um, when you have a smaller box, the rule of thumb is, and you have to calculate this, you just don't do it. The rule of thumb basically is, or, is that it, the, the larger the box, okay, the um, shorter the port has to be. The smaller the box, the longer the port has to be. And that's kind of just in a nutshell. So that's kind of the problem when you start having a box saying, okay, well, I have this subwoofer box in my car. I don't want it to take up the whole trunk, but I want to have it ported. The tube's got to be pretty long. And so that's where a passive radiator comes in. Basically, a passive radiator is a drone cone that has a moving mass that's attached to the cone, and it's weighted. And that basically does what a port does. Now, I'm not you know, a, an audio engineer, so I can't tell you exactly how it works. You can read up on how it works, and I have in the past, I just don't really remember. But nonetheless, it allows you to not have a big, long tube inside your enclosure, and allows you to have a smaller enclosure, and adding more mass to the actual, um, the actual passive radiator will tune the device lower. And so that basically that's what a passive radiator does. It just takes the place of a port. And what's nice, it keeps a very, very clean, in this case, uh, water resistant speaker. And it makes a huge difference on this device. I will say that I was pretty impressed with the amount of bass output for the size of this right here. And it gets pretty loud. And even at max volume, there is really no audible distortion. So I think this is a real winner. And this can be had for about $40. And I'll put links in the description where you pick this up through Amazon or through eBay, depending on where you prefer to, to purchase. But this is basically, let me just give you a couple of close-ups here because I didn't do that. Buttons on the top there. Your, I don't think you can see this through the grill there, but uh, this side is your speakers, and then this side is your passive radiator. You really can't see it, but it's in there. Again, the rubberized coating. You have some, uh, I guess, some ridges here. It gives you a little bit of grip. Um, and again, this is where your feet are right here. And because a passive radiator also moves, and these speakers are actually moving quite a bit. And so when they're moving and they're you know, getting max excursion for what they are, 
the speaker actually vibrates. And I found this thing kind of, if you, it's on a surface with a little bit of dust, I found it wanting to creep off the table. So if you put this down somewhere, just make sure that you wipe the feet. Um, it's pretty durable, not that if you drop it, you're gonna hurt it, but you know, maybe if you were on the concrete, you, you could if you're outside. So just kind of, you know, be cautious of that because it does actually get up and bump. <laughs> So, um, fantastic speaker. I'm not going to turn it on because there's really no point in me trying to uh, uh, trying to express to you uh, the, the audio quality of this particular speaker over a YouTube video. I always find it comical when I have my subwoofers in, in my car and I'm doing those videos in the summertime when I have those cars on insurance and out. And I always find it funny. People are like, oh, you, that thing, you can't even hear it. Man, it's a YouTube video. Do we have one? <laughs> you know, it's like you can't tell on that. I mean, and... Let's face it, when you hear uh, bass on a YouTube video through a cell phone or through a camera, you, all you hear is doesn't even sound like anything. So um, that was my subwoofer impression. Uh, so it's going to sound the same with this. You won't really get to appreciate the volume, but I can tell you uh, for the price uh, and compare it to some of the other ones I've compared, like your imitation $10, $20 uh, speakers off eBay. Uh, if you're gonna buy one, you know, this, I can guarantee it, you're gonna be pretty happy with the volume you get out of it and pretty happy with the water resistance and the sound quality you get. A lot of the other ones I've had distort pretty easily. This one, you can almost take it. I took it to max volume the other day and there was no audible distortion. Again, that's gonna depend on what you're listening to, but I am impressed with the speaker and I just wanna go ahead and thank uh, William over at Shava for sending me this. And before we close on this, um, you can actually, once you're connected to Bluetooth, have hands-free calling with it as well. Um, and let's see here. Uh, the wireless version for Bluetooth is 4.2. Uh, 45, 42 millimeter drivers. Um, I'm not sure what that equates to in, uh, in inches. I think it's 50, I think it's a little under an inch. Um, there are four ohms, of course, which doesn't really matter because you're not going to change anything. Uh, five watts by two, so five watt drivers. Um, size, looking at um, 100, this is completely wrong. This must be millimeters. Uh, 140.5 millimeters 60, in length, uh, 69 millimeters in width, and 51.4 millimeters in height. Uh, the weight on it, 305 grams, not really important. Frequent response is 100 hertz to 16 kilohertz, so you're going to get, um, you know, Base down to 100, which is some of your higher end bass. You know, you're not going to get the deep stuff. I mean, it's it's a little tiny speaker, guys. Okay. Um, the transmission power. I'm not going to read you that. Working distance about 33 feet. Signal to noise ratio um, 80 decibels. And battery capacity. That's an important one. Um, 22 mega, uh, milliamps. And it says your charge time two to three hours. And audio play time. They say will get you 12 hours. Although I have not tested that yet but I will test that in the near future. You guys know I always come back and re-review products. So there it is, guys, the Shava Ultra. Um, if you're in the market for a Bluetooth speaker, definitely check this one out. Uh, the price point is right. You know, don't don't go to, I mean, unless you're gonna buy like something really not like higher end, uh, don't go to Best Buy. I mean, I buy stuff at Best Buy, but don't don't go to Best Buy and look for a Bluetooth speaker there. You're gonna, I mean, I, I don't wanna bash brands, but you know, this is, some of the Beats by Dre stuff, some of the other speakers out there, you're gonna pay like 100 bucks for 35, 40 bucks, you'll be very happy with this. So uh, again, links in the description. If you like the content, subscribe to their channel. Uh, remember to click that bell to be notified anytime I upload a new video. And if you do make those eBay or Amazon purchase, please do it through my links. It does help support the channel. And stay tuned for more reviews in the not too distant future. Thanks again, guys. Have a great day.